What's up guys, welcome back to another video today. Um I'm gonna tell you guys how you guys how to remove a crank arm. So this one is off of I hope you can see the bike I've got here on my little repair stand. This one is off of this bike. This is so we're today we're taking out the dry side. It is exactly the same to take both it's ex it's the exact same procedure to take both arms off. I don't know why you'd want to take your arm off, but maybe you maybe the pedal thread, like the thread where the pedal is, it stripped out somehow. I don't know. If you've got like a BMX with an entire piece crank set, you're just gonna have to buy an entirely new thing off of Amazon. I right, can twenty thirty dollars. Um. Today, I've got crank tool here. Now, this is for a certain... This is only... This is for... I'm going to do another video on how to remove, like, higher end... Like, my Diamondback. I stripped out the dry side crank arm the other day. On the... Um, where the pedal goes. I was mountain biking. Uh, the pedal was a little bit crooked when I had screwed it in. Last, I took it off to put a little bit of WD-40 in there. Or something like that. I don't remember what I did. But it went in there a little bit crooked. And I didn't know it was crooked until the pedal got a little bit loose. I was able to finish my ride. But just barely. So anyways, this is just... So, a crank tool. Basically what it does is you... Let me take this part. Sorry for all the noises upstairs. My mom's making breakfast. And then I've also... I got three siblings, so... I'm one of four. Okay, come on. Okay, so this, this part right here, you see this? For those of you that don't know what a crank tool is, this, in the crank arm, okay, there's threads in here. And you can see on higher end mountain bikes, this part is an entire bolt, and I'll go get something that I've got upstairs. But basically... This part screws in, and you can do it a little bit by hand at first. It, it takes a second, you can do it a little bit by hand. All right, and then you've got to take your adjustable wrench. Go on in there, please. Alright, so then you take your adjustable wrench. This thing just doesn't know what it wants to do today. It doesn't know if it wants to be hand tightened or... So there, and then, so you don't strip it out, you want to make sure you get it as tight as possible. Because if you don't, then you'll pull all the threads and... You don't want to make you want to make sure it's not too tight. So then you take this and you, you can screw it in there by just hand tightening it until. Let me back you guys up so you can hit because I'm about this crank arm is about to come off. So you can screw this on, and then once it once you can't hand tighten it anymore, take your adjustable wrench. I mean, it doesn't have to be an adjustable wrench, but it can't be like a channel locks or vice grips, because that'll tear this whole thing up. It's going to get really, really hard, and then it's going to start getting easy, because that means it's, the crank arm's coming off. Okay? So do you see how it got easier just there? And then, there we go. The whole... Holy cow, this thing weighs like five pounds. So there you go. That's how you take a crank arm off. So now this bike is crank armless. And there's a reason for that. And I'll go ahead continue to unscrew this. There we go. And just let me get the rest of the tool out of the 
crank arm. Okay, there we go. It's completely utterly crank arm. -less. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So, I'm sure you guys are wondering what I mean by we're not we're not done with this bike. <laughs> um so this bike is really actually it's got no rust on it. No rust. It's just really muddy. So, we have this little thing at our house. It's like called it's called revival. And we've got we come every a bunch of people come over to our house or to this area to have a bunch of church services over the weekend. And and sometimes we just have friends over, like friends that travel to come meet us. And I have a bike. My brother has a bike. We both have bikes. People that we know have bikes. And what I want to do basically is I want when we have friends over, I want them to be able to ride a bike. So the KLR 4000, I don't like that thing. It doesn't work properly. Um, that's gonna be, it's gonna become a project bike, but there's some parts, there's a part on there that I want to take off to put on this Mongoose Trailblazer. I have two bikes that both have working derailleurs. Or why did I say derailleur? Derailers. Derailers. I, that's how I say it. They have working derailers. Now, the one on the Huffy, it's missing some hardware. But the one on the KLR 4000 isn't missing any hardware. So what I'm going to do is one, I'm going to hope as hard as possible that that derailleur can fit on here. Onto this bike. I'm gonna hope that it fits on this bike. And we're gonna put this bike back together. So I just took the crank arms off so it'd be a little bit less cluttered. Jeez, please, man. This crank, this whole thing feels so much bigger when it's not on the bike. And you could see you can see how it's just all riveted together. So, like, this is one big chunk of metal and plastic, basically. It's just one big chunk of metal and plastic. It's really all it is. So, uh, that's basically it for now with this bike. I've got to get, if you can see, the derailleur exploded on this a while back. Um, that's, so, the this part of the derailleur is stuck on there. So, I'm going to, actually, soon, I've got to, I'm ordering a new, I'm ordering a 34 tooth chain ring. A 40, a 34 tooth chain ring. For my uh, Diamondback recoil, yes, I'm making it a one by eight drivetrain, and the only chain ring that'll fit on the crank arm that I have is a 34 tooth. So, gotta get a 34 tooth chain ring, um, which is not bad. Eventually. I will be upgrading that bike to a 1x9 drivetrain, I think. I'm going to get some really nice... I'm going to get some a box a box component drivetrain set. It comes with a chain. It comes with an 8-speed drive. I know I just said I'm going to upgrade it to 9-speed. But my bike is a 20 or was... A 21 speed drivetrain, which basically means the rear, the rear cogs. I'm gonna explain this right now before I sign off. Basically, it's got three sprockets one, two, three. The smallest one is small, medium, large, right? Small, medium, large. So basically, what these do is they've got more range when you shift up. And it's, in some ways, it's better than a one by 
but I want a one by drivetrain because this is a lot of weight. This weighs a lot. And when you think about it, weight savings, because that bike already weighs like 35, I haven't weighed it, but I can, I, I'm pretty good at guessing because I know how much a 25 pound, which is weird to think that I can go to the gym and just hold a weight that weighs as much as my bike. It's weird to think that, but, so I know what a 35 pound weight feels like, and my bike feels about 30, like 35 pounds. But I, so I'm going to save weight, right? So I'm going to upgrade everything on the bike to lighter, better stuff. Eventually, I'm going to upgrade the whole bottom bracket. But right now, I don't have enough birthday. I just had my birthday uh, the other day. So I don't have enough money to upgrade my bike enough. What am I saying? I don't have enough money to upgrade my bike fully right now. I mean, we have enough money. We, my dad does pools, and he sells pools a lot. So, like, he, we, get, we get a lot of money. But I don't have income right now. <laughs> so, hey, just funny thing. My dad's my dad, my pretty good at selling pools, but... Anyways, I don't sell pools because I'm not old enough yet. <laughs> but I will be, he's mentioned a couple of times that I'll be helping him on stuff. So anyways, um, I hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Keep an eye out for Mongoose Trail Blazer builds. I'm going to probably, this is one of maybe four or five. Um, Just to ignore the screaming upstairs. We just, I've got another, I've got a three week old, three, four week old sister, little sister now. And a four year old sister and an 11 year old brother. So I didn't say anything about you being annoying. Anyways, guys, also another thing to keep a, an eye out for is, um, Huffy, keep an eye out for Huffy Stone Mountain upgrades because I'm also gonna upgrade that as well. Like my our, my fleet of bikes consists of, let's see, this the Mongoose Trail Blazer, actually two Mongoose Trail Blazers. My brother's bike is a Mongoose Trail Blazer, and this guy right here is a Mongoose Trail Blazer. So keep an eye out for Mongoose Trail Blazer builds, and Mo Huffy Stone Mountain, not trail builds, upgrades. Not right now, sorry. Keep an eye out for um Mongoose Trail Blazer upgrades and Huffy Stone Mountain upgrades. I'm gonna be doing a lot of upgrades on this bike. This bike's gonna look good i've also i've got a lot of forks um my i actually not too long ago i didn't film this because i didn't really want to film it because that day i was kind of tired but um i did a lot of cleaning in my shop so let's go ahead and before i end the video let me just go ahead and show you guys um yeah just kind of ignore all this i bought some slime the other day to put in to put in my inner tube because i was tired of getting pinch flats uh let's see then we've got this other crank arm that's going to go on my bike pretty soon. I went ahead and put the pedal on there. We're going to... I was thinking about doing an oval chain ring, but I don't know how to orient that right now. And I don't really... I would I would rather have an oval chain ring with a, a, a better drivetrain. I'd rather have a better drivetrain and then, and then upgrade. Here, I've got all the big things that can't fit in there. So, like, forks... Handlebars, I've got wheels that are inflated. Yeah, it's just kind of a a mess right now because I've been doing a lot of work on a lot of bikes and stuff. So anyways, and then here's the there's the fork that I had on the KLR 4000. There's also there's another video, there's a video coming out that I did with my friend Cooper. Even though he's a couple years older than me, his older brother didn't want to do a video with me, and my friend Davis doesn't know how to jump bikes yet, so. Yeah, I just did that. Um, then, here's some smaller, like, kids' bike frames here. Then there's this really nice BMX frame right here. Also, I decided I'm going to make, like, a wall. So, on, for decor, this is for decoration. And also, uh, if I need to take the part down and use it because if it's a still good part um i'm gonna have a wall of broken parts okay so every time i break something on my bike we're gonna hang it up on this wall okay so this back panel right here basically all along here every time a part gets broken it's gonna get hung up on the wall somewhere Okay, so there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna get ready to film another video probably because I need to film a lot of videos today. Because I'm actually tomorrow. I'm starting Spanish. I've already kind of started school, so tomorrow I'm starting Spanish. I'm starting school soon, so I'm just gonna film a lot of videos today because I only got like two. I've only got a couple more days without having. Oh, so here's a brake caliber. I have a couple of days without having to worry about school. 
So I'm going to film a lot of videos, but I'm only going to upload once or twice a week. Once or twice a week is how many times we're going to upload. Because I want to take time and actually have good videos instead of not take time and have a bunch of videos that are not good. Okay. Also, there's going to be another video. Our, um, I'm going to buy a chain tool soon because I've got a bunch of bikes that have chains on them that I want to take the chains off so then I can take the derailleur off. So that's probably, I've got, let's see, after I buy all the parts I need for my bike and a motor tool and another crank tool because... Believe it or not, the crank tool I just showed you guys, and I'm sorry this video is kind of long, you could not have watched the whole thing, but the I've got to get a new crank tool. I'm buying a new crank tool, you know, and I'm sure you guys are going to want to know why. The reason is, is because I got one that's only compatible with Walmart bikes, because the Walmart bikes have those weird nuts that stick out. So I got one that was only usable with a Walmart bike. Or like a older style mountain bike. So I had to buy, I'm buying a park tool, crank tool, which is fine because I want to get some more tools anyways. So might as well start off with a new crank tool. Anyways guys, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications.